ready to weld um, with the WeldSkill 185 multi process machine. I've got to set up MIG mode, and now I need to find out what settings I need to use to do some 3mm steel. So, I forgot where I put that uh, instruction manual. Uh, it's probably in the house somewhere. But the beauty of it is, it's got its own instruction manual inside the door. So, you look in the main chart here, and I'm looking at the, the thickness of material, 3mm. I look down the left hand side, and it shows me solid wire 0.6mm, solid wire 0.8mm, solid wire 0.9, and that's what I've got on here is 0.9 wire. Come across, and it tells you with the 3mm wire that I should be running 8.5 on the wire feed speed and 19.5 on the voltage. So now I've got to go and set the 8.5 and the 19.5 on the volts on the front of the machine. So I'll just close that back up, turn the machine on. The wire feed is over here. It's currently at 1.9, I need 8.5. Let's wind her up. There we go. Need 19.5 on the voltage. Voltage is like the heat. And the welding arc. There we go. 8.5, 19.5. I've got the arc control at about midway. I've got mid welding, and I'm going to change it from being 4T latch, which is cruise control, just the standard 2T, which is on off. Now we're going to talk about uh, the importance of the earth clamp and the earthing of the circuit. So a welding machine creates an electrical circuit. So about this earth clamp, which is connected to the front of the machine, in this case we're mid welding a solid wire, so it's connected to the negative terminal. Without that actually on the welding piece or on the job that was that weld, you won't have any welding. It's just like a car battery. There's two terminals. You need both to be connected for your car to start. The same with a welding machine. In welding, if, if you don't have a good earth, you will have problems. And typically some of those problems are rusty steel plate because the, the earth clamp doesn't get through the rust to actually get onto the metal or the, the steel um, or galvanized steel coatings, yeah, which are very heavy galvanized. So sometimes you have to prepare the steel that you're about to weld and either grind or sand off the rust or the galvanizing so you have a good start. Additionally, if the earth is only just partly onto the job, you might not be getting a good earth. If you're a long way away from the welding job of your earth, you can have problems. So it's better to bring your earth clamp as close as possible to what you're welding. 